what is going on everyone, Lemon Like here, and today I'm starting a new series about bombs in Splatoon. In each episode, I'll be explaining in detail each bomb type, and giving you tips and tricks on how to use them to your advantage. In this episode, I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at one of my favorite bombs in the game, the Burst Bomb. This is one of the most effective bombs in the game, if used correctly. The Splatoon Wiki explains burst bombs in this way. Burst bombs are spherical balloons filled with ink that explodes on contact. They use less ink than splat bombs and suction bombs, and therefore cause less damage. They can deal between 25 to 60 damage, with 60 being a direct hit. Seeing from the description of a burst bomb, it may seem that they use less ink so they cause less damage. but being the fact that they use less ink, you're able to use more of them at one time. And also, when you use them in conjunction with your main weapon, you can take out other people very fast. Here's another segment of footage of me using this technique. As you can see, it works extremely well. Burst bombs can be used with the carbon roller for a more insured splat. The way you can use them is by pressing the R button and then in one motion sliding your finger to the RZ button, allowing you to throw a burst bomb and immediately attack with the roller. This technique can be used with a slosher as well. Instead of spamming the RZ button to keep sloshing, try hitting the R button and immediately sliding your finger down to the RZ button. This allows you to throw a burst bomb and immediately throw your ink, allowing you to make a quicker splat. When using the carbon roller, slosher, or elier, it's easier to ink up walls with burst bombs than using the carbon roller or the slosher, seeing as they have less range. And waiting to char charge up a shot on a charger just to ink up a tall wall can be a very risky move, especially in the middle of a competitive match. All in all, the burst bomb is a great sub weapon to use. You can easily use it in conjunction with your main weapon. It's great for mobility, ink spreading, and attacking enemies. So next time you log into Splatoon and are wondering what weapon you should try, try out a weapon that has burst bombs as a sub weapon. I highly recommend getting good with burst bombs. They're good for rank battles and for turf wars. So until next time everyone, stay fresh, stay awesome, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out. Thank you.